What's up, Guardians? It's your boy Octane, and today's legendary Lost Sector is on the Cosmodrome. Now, it is the Labyrinth, and it spares Unstoppables, Arc Damage, and Exotic Arms as the reward. Now, let's talk about loadouts. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's a bunch of loadouts. I got Igneous Code with Slide Shot and Vorpal Symmetry and the rocket launcher from uh, Iron Banner and exotic armor is the convert your grenades into super turret arc soul because this used to be used a lot <clears throat> excuse me I need to drink this used to be used a lot in um, uh, I don't know a couple seasons ago it was meta people stopped using it because the chaos reach is so powerful but like Honestly, like, yeah, it's powerful, but there, there is, but, you know, like, the Warlock has a lot of good arcs, you know, uh, supers and subclasses. Like, yeah, Chaos Reach is good for, like, Nightfalls and Shredding Bosses and stuff, but, like, this is the Legendary Lost Sector. So we're going to have a bit of fun, and we can use any loadout we want, and this Arc Soul loadout is not bad. So, <clears throat> essentially... I'm pretty much shooting every ad. With Symmetry and Arc Soul, I'm pretty much shooting ads with balls of arc constantly. Because I can, I can switch fire modes between Symmetry and that. So it's a pretty fun build. It's literally like... I even got Energy Accelerant on, which I think they nerfed the shit out of it for Symmetry. But, you know, I wish they would have did that in PvE. But we, we, we need two different sandboxes. PvE needs to be a different sandbox. I mean, we already know they can nerf stuff in PvE and not PvP. But uh, it's a pretty good loadout. So what you want to do is, that's the first barrier in the tunnel right before you come out of the tunnel. Um, you want to shred him with the rocket quickly so he shields up. But immediately, as that rocket's traveling down the cave, you want to flip to your uh, scout rifle or your auto rifle, whatever you're using. Hard light's not bad to use if you're using an auto rifle. Hunter's got the skip grenade, Shinobu's Vow, like, pretty much same loadouts. And if you use an auto rifle, you already know, use hard light, and then whatever else you want to use. But, I said it once, I said it again, that rocket launcher from Iron Banner is insane. Like, it doesn't have lasting impressions, it doesn't have freaking all this other crazy shit like Vorpal and stuff, but you know what? It does hit very hard, it's got some serious damage output. Like, watch, almost fucking one shot at him with one rocket. And it's got auto-loading, so as I'm shredding the shields, I can just flip back. Boom. Done. It's amazing. Best thing, best arc rocket launcher I have, pretty much, besides my Heretic, which lasting impression and warp and uh, impulse amplifier. But honestly, that's more like for bosses, like Nightfall bosses and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> but yeah, see, reloading that, get ready to stun him again, hit the and I ended up just hitting him with that, so that's why I like the Vorpal on it. Like I got the God Roll with Ambition Assassin and like the Demolitionist or something like that. It's all right, but I like that one better. I've always loved Vorpal the best. It's just hits hard on everything. But that's the Unstoppable. But I think that's it for Unstoppables. <laughs> There's like one. Now this, you're gonna have to shred the boss and be careful of the knights and wizards. That's the only thing that's gonna give you trouble here. And then, of course, the thralls. But, I mean, symmetry, like, watch. I, I switch it, switch my arc modes. Now I'm just shredding everything. Because it's times 20 when you got the catalyst done. Like, I'm just shredding every. See all the arc balls just going everywhere. I call it the arc ball build. <laughs> but it, it's it's fun. It's a fun build. I forgot about arc soul, really. But, like, I'm like, because of chaos reach, I think everybody did. But it's a very good loadout. But that's it for me. Ah. Uh, Pretty easy lost sector. You just gotta watch out that barriers. Like I said, just shred them with a rocket, arc, arc rocket, and flip it to the other one. It's a very, very easy lost sector. But I wanted to go in a little more depth of the weapons this time around, just because <sighs> there's a lot of meta shit that doesn't need to be meta. And like, plus the are only supers on on all any kind of character, Titan, Warlock, or Hunter. They are pretty. But yeah, make sure after you kill the boss to shred everything. Make sure that portal closes before you open up the chest. That's it for me. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Octane out.